When we are asked to multiply large numbers together, we often need to use long multiplication. For example, if I asked you to do 672 times 34, we do this as follows. Firstly, write down the larger number, and then the smaller of the two numbers underneath. Our first step is to multiply 672 by 4, the units of the smaller number, and we do this part as a normal multiplication. 2 times 4 gives us 8, 7 times 4 gives us 28, and we have to carry the 2 across and put the 8 in the tens column. We then do 6 times 4, which equals 24, and we have to remember to add the 2 that we've carried across, so we get 26. Next, we need to multiply 672 by the 3 in the tens column. Now, the 3 in the tens column actually represents 30, and this is the key thing to always remember when doing long multiplication. The fact that the 3 is actually a 30 means we have to bring in a 0 before we multiply it. We put that zero in here. We then proceed to multiply the 672 by 3. So 2 times 3 gives us 6. 7 times 3 gives us 21. Again, we have to carry the 2 across and put the 1 in the answer. Then we do 6 times 3, which is 18. And don't forget to add the 2 to give us 20. And we put this in like so. The final step is to add up the two parts of the sum. So we start with the units column, adding 8 to 0. We then add 8 to 6, which gives us 14, not forgetting to carry the 1 across. We then add the 6 to the 1, and also the carried over 1, to get 8. The next step is to add the 2 to the 0, which is simply 2, and the final 2 as well. There is nothing above, so it's the same as adding 2 to 0. We get a final answer of 22,848.